hello and welcome to my channel today i'm going to be talking about my 2023 bookish goals so i am someone who really likes setting goals for myself and now i kind of have a place to talk about them which is cool well these are kind of ones that pertain to my reading uh and just books in general so let's just get into them. The first goal that I have is of course the Goodreads reading challenge or just how many books I want to read in a year. And for 2023, I'm going to set my goal at 100 books and this is a lot lower than previous years and that's for a couple reasons. One is uh, college and two is just my internship which I will pretty much be doing for half of next year. Um, so really I am just kind of being more realistic knowing that I'll have less time, so I'm setting my goal a little lower, but that's okay because 100 books is still 100 books and that is a lot, so that is my first goal. My second is a goal that I have had for a while, um, and that is to uh, get to 80% on NetGalley and to only request another book after I have read and reviewed one, and um, I have never completed this goal. I do not have the will to not keep requesting all these books that come out that I'm really interested in, um, which obviously gets my ratio lower, but it is still going to be a goal. Maybe 2023 will be the year I actually uh, hit and stay at 80% we shall see. And the next one kind of goes against my first goal um, a little bit and just that I want to do a 30 and 30 which is to read 30 books in 30 days. Um, this has also kind of been like a far-reaching goal of mine um, but obviously college there's just I have always been way too busy uh, to read 30 books in 30 days or I kind of get burnt out halfway through or whatever. Um, just, you know, a couple different reasons. And I know I said I wanted to set my reading goal lower so that was achievable. Um, and obviously reading 30 books in 30 days is a lot more, but it is still one that I want to try and do and maybe like vlog or something. Um, but I don't know, but we'll see if it ever actually happens. And the next couple of goals are all goals pertaining to the specific books that I want to read next year. And for this, I kind of really want to prioritize my physical TBR. So I'm going to sort of make a video um, and talk about all the physical books on my TBR that I have obviously not read yet. Um, and hopefully read all those books by the end of 2023. And that's kind of my goal, my challenge, my little thing, um, so that I don't buy new books and then read the new ones immediately. I want to prioritize these books that I have owned for longer and that I do want to read but have just not gotten to for whatever reason. So that's my goal to read all the books on my 2022 end of the year TBR sort of thing. I also want to read 12 classics and 12 nonfiction. Um, and for the classics, that is because I have a poster of like the top 100 classics and you like scratch them off when you have read them so uh it very much bothers me that all of these are not scratched off so while i don't usually enjoy most of the classics that i read there are some that i like uh but for the most part it's just not a genre that i pick up um but it is a goal of mine is to finish this poster so 12 books in one year is sort of doable you know so that one's there. And then for nonfiction, I do read more than 12 nonfiction in a year. Um, so this one shouldn't really be a problem, but I just like seeing it there uh, because it is something that I want to get more into and prioritize. For the most part, I do enjoy every single nonfiction book that I have picked up. It's very rare that I pick up one that I don't end up enjoying. So obviously it's a genre that I should be prioritizing a bit more. And then I also want to reread 12 books. This year I have slowly gotten better at rereading books, but I would really like to do it more often. There are so many books that I read and end up loving that I just never return to, and I want to do that more often. I want to reread books. Um, so yeah, that is a goal of mine. Uh, I believe I have read six in 2022, so I feel like 12 is a bit more doable for me. And then for a sort of vague goal that I have, it's just to write better reviews 
um, like more in-depth reviews. I feel like I'm very bad at saying what I do and don't enjoy in a book and it's something I want to get better at. I want to get better at like saying my opinions. Uh, it's kind of a goal of mine. Uh, in 2022, I had it as a goal to review every single book that I read and I have done that. So for 2023, I just want to sort of hone in on that skill and get better at it. So for my final goal, it is to start a book club. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, uh, you should. But on there, I was doing polls about what people would like to see from a book club. So I do have those answers. I am going to be sharing more about this book club in January, which is when it will be starting. But I can tell you that this book club will be running every other month. So for January and February, the book club book has already been picked. And that book is A Taste of Gold and Iron. And I'm super excited to read this one. It is a queer adult fantasy. And yeah, more details about the whole book club will be coming soon, but it is a goal of mine to do this book club, at least for the whole year, see how it works out. It's just, always sort of been a goal of mine to run a book club and sort of talk to people about books and stuff. So those are all of my goals for 2023. Thank you so much for watching this video and comment down below what goal you have for 2023. And don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.